Jensen Beach, California, August 7th, 1945. Dear Oppie, you are probably the most famous man in the world today, and yet I am not sure that this letter will reach you. But if it does, I want you to know that we are very proud of you. And if it doesn't, you will know it anyway. We have been irritated by your reticence these past few years, but under the itchy surface we knew that it was all right, that the work was progressing, that the heart was still there, and the warm being we have known and cherished. I can understand now, as I could guess then, the somber note in you during our last meetings. There is a weight in such a venture which few men in history have had to bear. I know that with your love of men, it is no light thing to have had a part and a great part in a diabolical contrivance for destroying them. But in the possibilities of death are also the possibilities of life. You have made history. We are happy for you. nobody's fault that the bomb was dropped. As usual, the reason it was dropped was just that nobody had the courage or the foresight to say no. The glitter of nuclear weapons, it is irresistible if you come to them as a scientist, to feel it's there in your hands to release this energy that fuels the stars, to let it do your bidding, to perform these miracles, to lift a million tons of rock into the sky. It, it is something that gives people an illusion of illimitable power and it is in some ways responsible for all our troubles I would say this what you might call technical arrogance that overcomes people when they see what they can do with their minds